and we're back with more Luna action. Oh, yeah. This week on Crafting with Cocktails, we're going to be making the butter beer cork necklace for Luna Lovegood. Then my costume will be complete. Especially since I have some quibblers lying around. Oink. I found a champagne cork that has this sort of uh, conical looking shape to it. It goes in a little bit. So I'm gonna cut off bits of this nub so that it will be a smooth cork. You could just use a regular cork, but that's boring. What, what sort of fun adventure would that be? So I'm just going to make a giant mess instead by cutting this cork. Remember to cut away from yourself so you don't slice off your finger because that makes it a lot harder to craft. Oh hell, I haven't even made a cocktail yet. Bling, 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 bling. Cocktail. Since I am flinging stuff all over the place, I think it's good that I'm wearing protective eyewear. And also, I'm making sure rack spurts don't, you know, cramp my style. All right, let's carve this thing down. Perfect. Give me a patch. I have my butterbeer cork. I have this tiny metal stick thing, and I'm going to poke it through the entirety of this if I can. That definitely bent a whole bunch. You know what? Osseo angle change. Oh, oh, we're filming. Put those there for creative effect. Maybe add some more quibbler action. Ooh, fancy. Let's just try this again. Try making a hole directly through the center. Well, we're getting a little closer. I'm just bending this all to hell now. This is harder than I thought it would be. This is just a little bead cap right here. In my research, was consists mostly of just this image that I found online. All we have to do is flatten it out a little bit and then stick it on top. I used a bead cap for this, but you could also use some sort of decorative bead if you find something that you really like. There we go. I have the base of this done. Hi. Now we're gonna move on to these fabulous beads. Oh. Oh, they're all different pieces. Well, we're just gonna go with some fishing line. Take these back off, I can't see a damn thing. Oh, where's my drink? I'm just using the pre-existing cord as a guide for the fishing line that I'm fishing through it. Beautiful. I finally got all those beads onto one piece. And it goes over my head just fine. There are two strands to this necklace, though. So I'm going to have to do this again for the second strand. Let's do this thing. Here are some little S loops. I'm gonna take one of those off, put it onto the butterbeer cork here, close it off. Before I tie this one off, I'm just gonna slide that on because then I won't have to worry about it. Oh god, what have I done? It's getting hot in here. Drink. Regular. Oh no. I accidentally spilled beads everywhere. This is why you should never craft drunk, friends. Let's tie off those beads before I spill them all over the place again. Beautiful. Now let's just hook that onto this S-hook. Oh my god. This is going to be precious. Ah! Look at how cute that is! Oh my god! I am so freaking pleased with myself. Let's celebrate with a cocktail. Mm, banishing charm. That It's supposed to get something away. I don't know anymore. Different angle. Boom! Got yourself a Luna Lovegood cosplay, yo! I mean, I'd probably do like a man bun sort of Lenny Lovegood crossplay sort of thing, but I thought it was fun just to put in a clip in weave, you know? So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Crafting with Cocktails, making the Butterbeer Cork Necklace. Check out the video where I made these radish earrings, and also check out my friends' videos where they made Butterbeer Cork Necklace and radish earrings as well. Sandwich and Holy Crap, it's Joe. If you really enjoyed this episode of Crafting with Cocktails, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you can find more fabulous Harry Potter tutorials, as well as various other mostly inebriated tutorials <laughs> for safekeeping. Oh yeah. See you guys next week with more Harry Potter tutorials. Wink.